If there isn't something done in helping the fight against antibiotic resistance, these small molecule drugs that we are using today to fight our infections will be useless in the future. working with cationic antimicrobial peptides. They're naturally occurring peptides that are found in mammals and plants, and these peptides have been around for millions of years fighting bacteria in their host animals. And what we're trying to do is exploit them and use them in the fight against antibiotic resistance. Hopefully, the antimicrobial peptides that we are developing will be able to be used in a drug that is able to be applied as a cream and would help beat antibiotic resistance. The reason why I got into this particular area of research was because I find it fascinating. The idea that taking something that is naturally occurring and then exploiting that to be used to help um, in the aid against antibiotic resistance and fighting bacteria with something natural, I think is really interesting. Minus B, you're going to switch the products. That we have. Dr. Bishop was one of the main people that made me choose the PhD program here at Mason. He was actually my undergraduate advisor, and when it came time around to pick my graduate program, I was really interested in the research he did. We talk about um, where my research is going and what to do to get it to the next step. It's been very rewarding, because as in the short time she's been in the PhD program, you can already see her developing the independence you expect from a PhD student. She started to come to me and tell me things like, here's what I think this data means. Here's what this means. I want you to do this experiment. They're coming to you and you're, you're basically almost as much a sounding board as much as anything else to discuss the data, interpret the data, and think about what to do next. P evolved equals the total mass of the system times your specific. In addition to my research, being in the PhD program here allows me the opportunity to help teach as a graduate assistant. The general chemistry, I actually teach the labs. They learn all of the basic fundamentals of chemistry that are going to influence them, not only in the chemistry field, but it also gives them the prerequisites for math and physics and biology all at once. I'm proud of everything I've accomplished here at George Mason. I'm one step closer to becoming a doctor and I am also one step closer to becoming the first doctor in my family. So it makes me proud of myself and my family proud at the same time. <laughs>